Is that saying even a fucking word? I, I, I guess it is. Hello again, everybody. This is Josh, and today we are reviewing Unsane. This film was written by Jonathan Bernstein and James Greer, and it's directed by Steven Soderbergh. This is his second film since he's retired. Steven Soderbergh is an American director, actor, screenwriter, and producer. This guy is a very versatile and well-rounded filmmaker. He's made everything from big-budget Hollywood movies to more independent art house flicks. He's not afraid to be very experimental with how his films are made and distributed, and I personally have liked most of what I've seen from him. Unsane follows a young woman named Sawyer, played by Claire Foy, who has a hard time coping with the abuse that she endured from being stalked for some time. After moving from Boston to Pennsylvania, she openly talks to her counselor about uh, the persisting trauma associated with her stalker and admits to having suicidal thoughts in the past, which gets her involuntarily committed to a mental hospital where she believes her stalker actually works. Maybe. Maybe. She, like any other person, retaliates and has repeated conflicts with the staff and the tenants of this institution claiming that she's not insane. As the film goes on, it tries to keep you guessing on whether the protagonist is insane or not, but then you find out about halfway into the film, so it's really not that much, much of, of a mystery. mystery. So despite the fact that this film looks like shit and the story doesn't make any fucking sense sometimes, I will say that it is still fairly watchable and enjoyable because Claire Foy delivers such a fierce performance. She was the best thing about this film. I found her performance to be very believable and I was very invested in her character. Her whole experience in this mental institution serves as a fairly accurate account of how some people are incorrectly admitted in real life so that these companies can make money off of their insurance. Her best chance to get out of this facility without going crazy is by just keeping to herself and outlasting the week or so that she has to be there without getting into trouble, which would extend her stay even further. And yet she constantly fights with the same character over and over again, played by Juno Temple, like three times or so, making it seem like she's not trying all that hard. It's such an obvious plot convenience and it's really annoying. What's also really annoying is that Steven Soderbergh, for some reason, chose to shoot this film on an iPhone 7S and it looks like garbage. I'm not really sure why he did this. Some people will say that the stark and overly digital look of the iPhone was meant to be used to kind of make the reality of the story a little more unclear. But that doesn't make any fucking sense because halfway in we find out what's actually going on. So what is the point of shooting the entire film this way? Outside of like two shots in the beginning that looked great, everything looks terrible. It's soft, muddy, the highlights are often blown out because these cameras don't have a lot of dynamic range, obviously, and the color palette has a yellowish greenish color cast that looks hideous. Steven Soderbergh tends to experiment a lot, as I said earlier, so I think this decision is definitely way more compulsive than it is purposeful. I think he did this as a way of trying to get himself excited about filmmaking again. I just wish that he didn't pretend it looks good. It does not look like Velvet, Steve. It looks like schlocky B-movie trash. trash. Everything is so flat and cheap looking that a lot of the scenes look like something that came directly out of a soap opera, including the last scene, which was hilariously bad. Unsane also falls short from a story perspective. There's one glaring issue with the plot that I have to talk about, but in order for me to do so, I have to go into spoilers. So go to this point in the video if you don't want to hear any. Three, two, one, let's go. So you find out about halfway into the film that Sawyer is not insane and her stalker does in fact work at this mental hospital that she's been committed to as the guy who distributes medicine. If that sounds totally ridiculous, that's because it is. The film reveals that the way that he got this job was by murdering someone who works for the company and stealing his identity. How the fuck does no one recognize that this is not the same person? Does he look the same? Did he come from a different facility? And how does this guy even know enough to do a good job without coming off as being suspiciously inexperienced? Is he some some sort of evil genius? Is that why he's able to torture one patient and hack into the network of the hospital and disable the security cameras and never get caught? I'm so confused. Overall, this film wasn't terrible thanks to some good performances, especially Claire Foy, who is very good. But for the most part, it's just incredibly mediocre because of the shitty iPhone footage and the gaping plot holes the size of the Mississippi River. I'm going to give Unsane a 2 out of 5.
Thanks for watching, everyone. Leave a comment with your thoughts on Unsane in the comment section below. Let me know if you liked it or not, or if you even cared to see it. You probably didn't see it because it's it's not really worth seeing. Be sure to check out the other content on my channel. I have a review for Black Panther on the way. Hit the like if you like this video or share this video or both, whichever you prefer. And if you dig the channel, then subscribe to the channel. If you don't, then you're insane. Thanks again, guys. This is your boy, Josh. I am going to end this review before I go insane. Um, yeah, a lot of bad jokes today. I'm sorry. Uh, signing off until next time.